hello my lovelies welcome back i don't know about you but it's getting cold where i am at now i came here with a public service announcement this morning today for all of you have you heard of the term homosexuals mm -hmm. because it's getting cold i know some of you are dating okay so i want you to be aware of the Hobosexuals. If you don't know what a homosexual is, let this guy explain. The homosexuals usually yeah. have the best D because they don't have much else. Break down homosexuals real quick. Homosexual are people that are f you in order to live with you. Yeah. yeah. They need a place to stay. Yeah. And so what they're considering to be paying rent is f Yeah. Good. Yeah. I, they have to be good. Fantastic. Yeah. And generally, it and, and, and it'll be like you walk through the door and they fall to their knees. And let me tell you, the orgasm that you're going to get on the 30th of the month. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to play a few clips to further explain the whole thing to you guys. And I'm going to come back and share my thoughts at the end of the clips. Okay? Let's get into the video. Basically, what you do is you go over to girl house. You know what I'm saying? This is the first time she let you come through. You know what I'm saying? You got to hit her at her house the first time. This is the only way the plan is going to work. So you get her to let you come over there and hit her at her crib. You dog it down. You feel me? Beat the doonies all the way down. You feel me? And then fall asleep. You know what I'm saying? But you got to make sure it's on a day that you know she got to go to work in the morning. You feel me? So you come over there, kill it, fall asleep. If she wake up in the morning and just go to work and don't wake you up and tell you to leave or nothing like that, then just don't never leave. Just post up. You know what I'm saying? When she come back, be there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my darlings. I'm going to look you in the eye when I say this, okay? As someone who has once oust a homosexual myself, let me tell you, it is their season, and they're out here ready to win. Keep your doors locked. Put a potluck on it, okay? Put a sledgehammer behind it. Put your couch behind your door. Do not invite men to your house. They would not leave. It's their season. As a matter of fact, if you're not in a relationship by October 1st, don't bother getting into one till March 31st. It's also tax return seasons. So you know they're looking for successful women. The days of women being gold diggers are long gone. These men are the new gold diggers. Do not house a man. Don't invite a man to your house. They will get comfortable so fast. They will open up the fridge. They will drink your last glass of wine. They will start bossing you around your own house. They will start telling you what to fix. Let the homosexual stay outside. Why it seem like all the single men live with their baby mama? Oh, all that means is you have ran across a CEO homosexual. And let me explain to you what I mean by that. See, we stay referring to men that bounce from house to house and woman to woman to just have a bed to lay in as homosexuals. But what y'all didn't know is there are levels to homosexualism. <laughs> See, look, there are some men out there who do not give up. If the girl got a dirty house, roaches, if she live in the projects, whatever, he just needs somewhere to stay. But there are some homosexuals that have standards. They like women that got jobs, careers, duvet covers, end tables, and living room sets. They like to stay with bitches that create a home. And that's all you ran across. See, the only reason he ain't moving out his baby mama house is because she is a bad bitch that has created a home and he comfortable there. See, that's an executive homosexual, a CEO homosexual, and you better steer clear of his ass. If you are in the dating world, you may want to listen to what I have to say. Um, this would affect men, women, every gender, um, every sexual orientation it is not specifically something that would happen to women. Um, and what I'm talking about is hobosexuality. I did not say homosexuality. I said hobosexuality. Um, I didn't even know that this was a thing. 
Um, so I really see this as just sharing information and maybe I can save somebody else from having the experience that I had. So a homosexual is someone who will date um, in order to have somewhere nice to stay, good food to eat, places to go. Um, you know, they may have less resources than you do because you're going to pay more often kind of thing. So let me tell you some signs that you're dealing with a hobosexual. Um, one is that they have a lot of in-between things going on. So perhaps they're in the middle of moving or they're staying with somebody right now temporarily because where they were staying didn't work out so well or they went through a breakup six months ago and they haven't really figured out where to live yet. So they're staying with their brother or their friend or stuff like that. Um, they may be working um, or not working. You know, they may say something like, oh, I'm just taking some time off because, you know, I wanted to take a break in between jobs or, you know, something like that. Um, just a lot of in-betweenness. Um, their, your relationship with them is going to move really fast and they're going to be super attentive and they're going to really cater to you. Um, chances are they're going to be really good and bad. Like if you don't even believe in God, you're still going to see him or her when you have sex with this person. Um, they kind of start to appropriate your life. So you may find that suddenly they like everything that you like and are using all of the stuff that's in your house um, and you're having to buy more because they're using your stuff. Um, your friends are jumping up and down. Their hair is on fire because they can see what's happening, but you can't because you have this person who is just paying you all of this attention and loving you and catering to your every need while you're not really paying attention to the fact that you're spending all your money on them. Um, and you're changing how you live for them. Like somehow your life is becoming their life instead of you building a life together. But um, if they're really good at it, they will be exceptionally really great at manipulating you and you won't even know it happened until it's over. And then you'll wonder if any of it was real. So watch out for the hobosexuals. I was the queen of dating apps. <laughs> I came across a hobosexual just once actually, not that many times on a dating app, probably because I knew what to look for and from that experience, I never got fooled again. One time, a guy asked me out on a date. And I don't know why, but I just felt like we should FaceTime uh, before going on the date. And I asked him, like, hey, can we FaceTime? And he was like, oh, I don't have FaceTime. And I was like, what do you mean? I was like, okay, do you have, like, WhatsApp? Like, some, some type of video call. And he goes, no, my internet connection is not good. I was like, okay, well, can we get on a phone call? He's like okay okay yeah i can arrange for like us to talk over the phone i was like cool cool i noticed that it was a google number but i i don't know i just kind of was like that's weird whatever maybe he just wants to protect his identity i don't know he doesn't know me then we start talking on the phone and uh i was like okay like he sounded really nice and everything and uh i was like okay, what kind of food do you like? You know, I was asking the questions because like, I wanted him to get a sense of who I was so he can take me out appropriately. So I was like, okay, so where are you thinking of taking me? And he goes, well, I'm actually right now uh, in my car. I was like, oh, okay, no problem. Like you're, you're just like talking in your car, you know? And he goes, no, so I was thinking I can come to your place and maybe we can have like some type of meal. And I was like, huh, what do you mean? And he goes, well, to be honest with you, I'm living in my car. And I was like, you're living in your car? And he was like, yeah. I was like, I, I don't think like the app is for you right now. Like maybe you should consider like getting off the app and just like working on like getting a job and like a place to stay. So you're not asking like women to come to their home and how's you? How's you? Ah. So I was homeless from the ages of 19 to 22 on and off. <laughs> and it's fine now, I'm 34, car, crib, whatever you want. But um, ladies, get that man at your house because we will take roots. <laughs> I remember back in the day day, this girl really wanted it and I wasn't even trying to give it to her, but she had like her parents' whole attic kind of like carved out for herself. I was in that motherfucker for like two months. <laughs> 
like one of my boys was even telling me to like get my mail sent there so that they legally couldn't kick me out. <laughs> and her parents didn't even know I was there. Please, mom, get that man out your house. <laughs> so you've heard it all, okay? I don't need to add much. I feel like at this point in time, you get the memo, right? So while you're dating, beware of the guys who fall asleep while you're going to work. Ask them to leave and lock your door, okay? Guys who have excuses, guys who give you good days, keep your eyes and your ears, your ears peeled. Date with intention, okay? Make sure you're listening while they are talking, while they are talking, okay? Because there's a lot of them on the dating apps these days, okay? And you don't want to become one of those women that they used for the winter, okay? So this is just a public service announcement. Beware of the homosexuals. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Take care of yourselves. Bye.